it was left outside and they were smoking dope on the inside. I, I looked through the window because the kid said that he had been outside waiting for his mom for two hours. And I had offered him to come over here and wait because nobody would answer the door and I didn't just want to leave him there. But um, he said that he would just go next door and wait for his mom. But that's what they were doing. They were smoking dope in the window. It was candy candy. Okay, thanks. Hey, wait a second, sir. Let me talk to him. And also, uh, what, what did she do? What? I didn't do nothing wrong okay. to him. I'm talking to him. Okay, why are you here? You can get a hold of my dad, Judge Rick Bullard. Pardon? I just speak to her. Okay, what is she doing? Why? Are you a guardian or what? Okay, okay. this is the deal. She's staying here. Yeah. She's whacked in the head. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have cataracts in both eyes. I got a bad back. I can't work. I'm trying to get out of disability. Okay, they told me that I'm, I'm capable of working. What I'm thinking is maybe I can become a, a caretaker for her because she is, she's whacked bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if she's out breaking the law or what she's doing, but I'm recording everything that she does. Mm -hmm. And I don't think she's capable of taking care of herself. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I... I agree. Okay, um, so, so I'm I just had to ask because I want to make sure there's some kind of affiliation there. You know, we obviously can't go. Okay, uh, this everybody. is my house. Okay. She's staying here. She's paying the rent, not the rent, but my house is paid for. See, I have no money. Mm -hmm. She's paying my light bill and my internet bill, mm -hmm. but I don't want any trouble coming here. And yeah. she's saying that some kids are smoking dope and. Yeah. So what happened was, I guess a kid was walking up from school and she called to get home. And then sat in front of the house, ringing the doorbell a bunch of times. And then one of the other kids was getting her to let her in the house. And then luckily the mom came around the corner. Because she was like, why is my son ringing the doorbell? And he just walks in. Yeah. And then she saw what was going on. So okay, was the cops have been here about a week ago or so. Mm -hmm. And she was going door to door. I don't know if she was asking for money or what she was mm -hmm. doing. But, but uh, yeah, see, I have to know what she's doing. I don't have to know, but this is my house. Yeah. And but if you're going to be a caretaker for her, just, you know, caution. You know, it's well, the thing is, okay... <laughs> She so more than you can chew, I guess. Yeah, a lot more than I can chew. She takes food and she leaves it out, leaves it out, leaves it out. Like turkey yesterday, she bought a turkey three or four days ago. She left it on the stove. And, of course, it's going to start to spoil. Mm -hmm. She cooked it, and then after she took it out of the oven, she left it out there for a day. Mm -hmm. Okay, she does stuff like that. She leaves the stove on, yep. and she takes off. Like she put a pizza in the oven, and she takes off. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I'm eligible to. Uh, yeah, more than likely. I mean, be a caregiver or not, but in my opinion, somebody needs to. Because if not, it's just, yeah. yeah. Um, you want to get some information from me real quick? Sure, go for it. Do you know her but, date of birth by any chance? Uh, it's zero uh, eight zero five eighty. But uh, personally, see, I was a truck driver for 12, 14, 15 years. I retired out of the military. I did twenty-one years in the guards. I worked in Simplots for 14 years. I got uh, 43 years of good service on my uh, Social Security, you know, paid in. Plus I got uh, 21 years in the guards. I can't get anything until I turn 60, but I need uh, operation on my eyes because I can't drive truck anymore. I got mm -hmm. a bad back. So I need to do something. And uh, they say I, I'm capable of working, but honestly, I don't think I can. But uh, I would like to become a caregiver, and I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. It shouldn't be. I think it's pretty simple. You might just call, contact Health and Welfare. Uh -huh. Maybe they'll walk you through the process a little bit. But I've been I recording know, what yeah. she's doing. Probably not a and, bad idea. And uh, she's whacked. Bad, bad. What's your, what's your first name? Uh, my name's Tim. Tim or Timothy. Okay. And middle name? Uh, Wayne Rector. Wayne. And last name? Rector. How do you spell that? R E C T O R. And your date of birth? 11-9-59. Alrighty. What's a good phone number for you, Tim? I don't have a phone. I don't. don't phone? I don't. Okay. I don't have any money to get a phone. I've been uh, without work for two years. Okay. And last year I had my light shut off for a whole year. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a little rough. <laughs> and okay. the way I met Beatrice is one day she come, knocked on my door. I'd never seen her around before because I don't go out. And she knocked on the door. And she goes, uh, "You mind if you do me a favor?" I just said, well, "It all depends on what it is." She goes, "You think you can give me a ride to Declo?" Because she acted straight. She acted okay. And she says, my, I left my purse there. It's got my driver's license. It's got my Social Security card, my credit cards, blah, blah, blah. So being a nice guy, I took her over there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, went to somebody's house. And she goes, oh, it's not here. It's over the KOA. So I went to the KOA, said we're in deck and I go to the KOA. And then she goes, oh, no, it's not here. It's at the Burley Inn. And uh, 
I'm thinking I'm taking her to, to pick up drugs or something. I don't know. More than likely. More than likely. And then uh, she was staying underneath the bridge when I met her. And uh, I didn't have any source of income. And she has a little bit of uh, disability. But she's been helping me out. But uh, I can't handle it. And I just, I don't want trouble coming to my house. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Definitely. If she's out doing drugs or whatever the heck, yeah. I don't want to get in trouble. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Alrighty, sir. Do okay, you have any but questions you, for me? Oh. You, you think that she can't take care of herself by, her, by herself? Um, I've never lived with her, obviously, so I can't necessarily say Well, that you've seen sure. her at the I jail. I've, I've dealt with her quite a bit. And she's been in mental institutions before. Uh, yeah, based on, from what I remember, yeah. Yeah, okay. And what did she need some sort of help. And what did she just do? She just went to somebody's house and she was looking yeah, in the window? she was just trying to get in the house from what they thought. She just rang the doorbell repeatedly, trying to get somebody to open the door for her, I guess, from what the other mother was saying. Could you tell me which house or you're... You cannot you say can't. that. Okay. Nope. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I, right. mean, I just don't want any trouble. Yep, yep. Nope, but, no but see, this is my house and... Yep. She's just trespassing that residence. So if she goes back there again, she'll get arrested. Well, that's place. what the cops said last week. Yeah. She went door to door and this guy complained and that guy complained and... He said, the cop said if she does it again, she's going to get arrested. Yeah, she's got quite a few houses she tried to from. So. And is she asking for money? Is that what she's doing? I, they don't know what she's doing. Just Being weird. weird. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you so okay. much. Thank you.